Hey folks, this is your host, the one, the only, Thrifty Gamer 83 here, bringing you my review of the original Streets of Rage. Currently, this is being played on my PlayStation 3 as part of the Sega or Sonic Mega Collection Pack. I absolutely miss games like Streets of Rage. They had an energy to them and a stylistic theme which allowed you to have that enthusiasm of being at an arcade without really having to sit with a cup full of quarters and wait in line to play something like X-Men or Avengers. And that is where it is for me. Beat-em-ups are those style genre games which while sadly lacking you can actually download them on emulator on emulated platforms on virtual console stores such as the Wii U or purchase the collection packs outright as I have done now I regret not actually having Street of Rage the original to play on my original Sega Genesis yes I do have a Sega Genesis and, no, it's not in the Retron 3. It is in the original Sega Genesis Model 1. And, for me, Streets of Rage had that boundless energy and enthusiasm that Sega really, really brought home to compete with Nintendo. The graphics were sharp and crisp delivering on so many levels that you really need to take a look at it for yourself to see what you are missing if you have not played the original Streets of Rage. Now really, if you watch any of my videos, you know that I am into retro, and beat em up style games are definitely retro, and they should be making a fashion to come back. I know that platformers like Strider and Mighty Number no. 9 have actually helped make a platforming comeback reminiscent of Mega Man. And I apologize that Mighty Number no. 9 failed to live up to consumer expectations and it really shouldn't have it really should not have been well it's better than nothing. That just shows that consumers can easily be taken advantage of. With that said, I am so happy when Sega puts together their collection packs, when they give it the care and grace that it needs, it doesn't diminish the end product or result. Sega cares just as much for their mega collections as they did their original products, and it's really telling to see how they just lay it all on the line for consumers. Games which the younger set may not have had the benefit to play, can really immerse themselves in what we grew up playing. As you can imagine, being 33 years old, yes, this is something which does take me back. You will enjoy Streets of Rage 1. It is one of those guaranteed games that you will absolutely love. It's to my best impressions, it is so underrated in the field of beat-em-ups. Growing up in Maine, actually, the biggest draw I found for beat-em-up games was generally the Double Dragon series. Streets of Rage was kind of, you know, uh, kind of took a back seat to all of the Double Dragon games along with all of the merchandising for Double Dragon games. And yeah, Streets of Rage was just Sega on an island, pretty much. But once you played it, oh, once you played a Streets of Rage game, you knew you were playing Sega at its peak. Well, the third installment really doesn't live up to the first two. I gotta say, I will always enjoy... The controls being so responsive, being so crisp graphically, leaving nothing really to be desired. 
it is one of those games which you just take and really you want to find a fault in it in this retro hunting day and age but you know you really can't find a fault you can't fault Sega for producing Streets of Rage. This was Sega at its finest. This was Sega truthfully representing what they had and standing behind a product. And I look back on Streets of Rage with so many fond memories of renting it for a two for one special for two ninety nine, I do believe it was renting the original Mortal Kombat and Streets of Rage because, well, you couldn't mix and match games at one of the rental stores, so I took a gamble. And gamble I did indeed, and I enjoyed it because there was the original Mortal Kombat, of course. It needs no introductions. It's a fine, polished game. The Streets of Rage, on the other hand, wow. It just totally overwhelmed me. The sounds were crisp and detailed. The controls were so responsive. You really have to play Streets of Rage for yourself. Alright folks, rant, rave, love, hate, click that little subscriber button, you're keeping my show on the air. Have a good one. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah.